Hello YouTube friends, this is Barbara from Barbara Wiley Art and Wigs and Fluff. Today it's Wigs and Fluff. And I'm, I have on a new wig today. This is the Kenzie. And this is by a new manufacturer that I haven't tried yet. And it's Tony of Beverly Hills. Tony of Beverly Hills. So this is the Kenzie from Tony of Beverly Hills. And the color is Iced Champagne iced champagne. It's a cute little wig. It reminds me of the Trendsetter by Raquel Welsh very much. It's got a lot of poofy stuff, high poofy permatease going up here, and it's got the razor cut in the back. Now I'll turn around and show you the front. I showed you the front. I'll show you the side. I can do this right. This is a low, like I said, a low camera holder. This is the back. If you can see the, can you see the, uh, the razor cut? I think you can right there. See, it looks like the trendsetter. And then I'll turn around to the side. And to the front. So this is a really cute wig. I like it a lot. It's short, it's got a razor cut on it. It's finely layered like the Gabby from yesterday. It's finely layered. I did buy two wigs yesterday, not just one. I bought two wigs because I just wanted to. I found this one and I found the Gabby and I liked them both. So I thought I would get them. It does feel light. It's a very, very lightweight constructed wig. And I'll show you the cap in just a second. Now, you can see it's got a big place of lace in here. That's because of all of the permities that's going on on the top. And then it's got open weave to the back. See all that open weave. Now this has got a lot of lace in it, more than what most of the others do, so it's not going to be quite as cool in the summer, but it's going to be nice. It's still going to be a good wig to wear. And um, I'll put it back on. It's also have, you can adjust it if you want with these little straps on the side. Can you see those? got straps to adjust it. That's kind of an old fashioned kind of thing. It has no Velcro in the front. Now I've got it all messed up. It's got no Velcro. See how high that goes? That's why it has all that lace. That is why it has all that lace because it just, it's got a lot of permatease in it. Goes up really, really, really high. The, it is a nice wig. It might not be quite as cool as the Gabby because the Gabby has a lot more of the open weave. And I'll show you that again really quickly so that you can see the difference. See, there's only a little bit of that lace, not nearly as much and quite a bit more of the open weave. So this Gabby by John Renault is going to be a whole lot cooler for the summer than this one by Tony of Beverly Hills. This is the Kenzie by Tony of Beverly Hills in iced champagne. Now, the colors are nearly identical. Can you see that? They're just about identical. But John Renault just gives you a number. And then when you look up the number, it just says golden, light golden blonde with uh, ash blonde highlights. That's what it says about the Gabby. This one here just says ice champagne. So I don't know which way you like it better. I don't know how you like your descriptions to go. Um, for me, I like a name. That's just me. 
iced champagne means more to me than a number, but so that I have to go and look up. But anyways, this is the Kinsey, and this is a new manufacturer. This is Tony of Beverly Hills. I've not had one of these wigs before, so I'm going to see how well it turns up. Turns out, but it looks to me like it's very much like the trendsetter. Trendsetter was real tall like that too. This is the Raquel Welch trendsetter, and it has a real high, lots of permatees in it. And it's got the construction, it's got a lot of the lace here, but it's also got open weave in the middle and open weave back here. So it doesn't have nearly the lace that this one does. But this one here has kind of the razor cut in the back as well, as you can see. See that razor cut goes out to the sides. If you look at this one, look at the back of this one, it's very similar to this. I don't know if I can do that right, but it looks very similar. This is like kicks out to the side. So maybe you can see it better if I hold it on the, see, it's razor cut. That's razor cut. And so is the back of this one, razor cut. But this is the Kinsey. This is what it looks like. It's iced champagne. I really, really like it. I think it's a really cute wig. I think it's perfectly good. It's got a lot of lace up there. It might be better for the winter time because I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit warm because of the lace. Not as much open weave. So it could be a little bit warm during the summer. And I'm honestly thinking that the Gabby is going to be the better wig for the summer. Now, I also like the Voltage. This is my little Voltage in glazed vanilla, which I love this color. This is a kind of a white blonde color. And you can see that the Voltage only has a little bit of lace and the rest is all open weave. So this is a very lightweight wig. Very, very lightweight. I get a lot of compliments on the Voltage. The Voltage is just my favorite. I could wear it every day and feel like I was having a good hair day every day. But this one's a real cute one too. I like the razor cut. I think it's, I think it's a good wig and I really like it. Give me a comment below and tell me what you think about this one, the Kenzie uh, by Tony of Beverly Hills in iced champagne. Leave me a comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Okay, now I also have a story to you for you today, and this is the story of a really strong guy in the Bible. His name was Samson. Now, Samson was very much like modern day Mike Tyson, you know, Big Mike. And um, he was a very, very strong, muscular man. He could do super strength type things. He was amazing. Now, Samson was a Nazarite and his mom had made a vow to God that he would not cut his hair. And so Samson was bound by that, that, that vow. As long as he did not cut his hair, then he would have his super strength, excuse me, allergies. So in those days, the Nazarites had long hair with braids. That was one of the things that they did. They didn't drink, they didn't eat strange foods. They, were, they had a special diet and they grew their hair long. They didn't cut it. That's what they did. That's what they, that's, those were their vows to God in those days. Now, Samson grew up in a home that loved God, and he loved God too. He was always wanting to please God. Um, but 
Something happened as he grew older. He became interested in girls, specifically beautiful girls. And he had a series of romances that didn't end well. He once fell in love with a Philistine girl and wanted to marry her. His family freaked out and said, oh no, you know, because those were the enemies of Israel. And it didn't work out. There was some betrayal and Samson pulled out of the marriage. And then he went on and had some romances with other women. He finally came to a woman named Delilah. And Delilah was an especially beautiful woman. And she had Samson beguiled. He was just over the moon for Delilah. Just loved her so much. And Delilah was beautiful, but she didn't have inner beauty. She was scheming. And she met with some Philistine men. And she took money, a bribe, to betray Samson because the Philistines wanted to find out the source of his strength. Samson was known for this super strength. He once tore apart a lion that was attacking him. I mean, he just tore a big, huge lion apart. And another time, there was a gate in front of him, keeping him from defending his people. And he literally ripped the gate apart, carried it on his back, and beat the Philistines with it. I mean, he was a super, super strength guy, and he could do many, many things. There's lots of stories about Samson and his strength, but this one is about Delilah. Now, Delilah took money from the Philistines to figure out what was the source of Samson's strength. And she kept asking him, and asking him, and kissing him, and loving on him, and persuading him. And one night she made him drink wine with her, and she got him drunk. And he finally told her in a drunken state what was the source of his strength. And once he told her, he went on and fell asleep. And then the Philistines snuck in while he was sleeping off his drunken stupor and cut his hair. Well, that was the end of his strength. He had made a, God, a vow to God. He and his mother had made a vow not to cut his hair. And because he did have his hair cut, he lost all of his strength. He made some bad decisions. He let a beautiful woman confuse him and persuade him to tell him the strength of his, uh, the source of his strength. And when she kept asking him, he finally gave in and he told her, of course, after she plied him with the wine, and he fell asleep and they cut his hair. And when he woke up, he had no strength left. So the worst happened to Samson. They took him out and blinded his eyes. And so now he no longer was strong, but he was blinded. He couldn't see. And he became a slave for the Philistines. And they mocked him. They brought him out to make fun of him, to put him on display. This is the great Samson that used to terrorize us. Look at him now. We found the source of his strength. And we cut off his hair. And look at him now. He's nothing for us. And so they were having this big old soiree at the Philistine, with the Philistines in their big, huge uh, castle. And uh, or I think it was the temple, actually. And Samson prayed and asked God to forgive him at that point in time for all the mistakes that he had made with women, for all the times that he had not done what God promised him and for allowing his hair to be cut. He gave in to Delilah and then allowed the men snuck in there and cut his hair off. 
and God, he asked God to forgive him. And one last time, one last time, one last time to give him that super strength. So he put his hand against one wall and against another wall. And he began to shake and sway and sway and sway and sway and sway and sway, and sway, and sway, and sway, and sway until the whole building fell down. He actually uprooted the foundation of that temple. And the whole thing crashed down, killed every one of the Philistines and killed himself too. But God allowed him to be used one last time even though he had strayed so far away from God and had so many affairs with different women and done all kinds of wickedness in God's eyes. Even after he fell so far as they cut off his hair and took his strength and blinded his eyes, God still used him one more time. And he pushed down those walls, the building collapsed, it killed the Philistine, it killed himself and everyone in the building. So that's the story of Samson. And that's the story of being tempted by things that we shouldn't be allowing ourselves to be tempted with. Samson should have kept himself pure from any affiliations with most of the women, certainly not Philistine women. And Delilah, even though I don't think she was a Philistine, she was acquainted with some Philistine men, and she was not the woman he thought she was. She may have been beautiful on the inside, but she was scheming and deceptive on the inside. And she took money to betray him. So this is the story of Samson. And the moral of the story is, don't be tempted. Don't let your weaknesses rule you like Samson did. He couldn't, he couldn't pass by a beautiful woman. He was just taken by every one of them. So don't let your temptations rule you. Stay true to the one true living God. Do all that he tells you to do. Read the Bible, pray, and go to church. These are the things that we're called to do. And if you find yourself in a compromising situation and you did wrong, ask God to forgive you. That's the second lesson. If you find yourself in that position the way Samson did, that he had done wrong and he had sinned, he asked God to forgive him because he did love God. And he asked him to forgive him. And one last time, God used him. He used him to destroy the Philistines. They were the enemy of Israel, and they treated the Israelites really bad. So that's my story for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I'll see you later.